Now, when we've had a baby, your body takes a while to recover. Once you can actually see your toes again, you may be raring to get back to your old routine. But our next guest says there's plenty to consider before you do. Terry Milani from Jets Fitness joins us. Good morning to you. Good morning. And also Tammy is along here too. Tammy, you are you are Terry's wife. I am, yes. And you, you get the short straw of demonstrating some exercise for I us. I do, yes. Well, actually, the long straw, actually, because we need to see how to do these properly. Now, Terry, I love the way I'm asking you this question. <laughs> what happens to women's bodies during pregnancy? <laughs> Birth. I should be talking to Tammy. Yeah, um, well, from from an activity side, so uh, generally appetite is probably one of the biggest things. You tend to eat a lot more, which then um, you start putting on a little bit of weight. Um, so weight added with um, the growth of your new baby um, uh, starts to happen. Um, another thing as well is um, you release a hormone uh, into the body, which is called uh, relaxin. And the important thing about that is um, it gets into the joints, the ligaments and the muscles. And what that means is it helps become a little bit more softer in the joints. Which is what you want when you're going to be birthing yes, a baby. Yes, exactly, and that's why it's there. So, um, But it's also uh, important to understand how that fits into post-pregnancy um, training. Yeah. Um, with, with the weight gain as well, it's important to understand that, you know, these aches and pains in the lower back and the joints, so those things happen as well. And there's different weights bearing on different things, yes, isn't there? Yes, yes. Um, I found my feet grew half a size when I was pregnant with my three babies, never went back. The relaxant just went, everything just went whoop. Wow. And, kind of, and then that's the technical term, whoop, <laughs> and then seemed to just stay there. Uh, so Tammy, was it hard for you to keep your weight down during pregnancy? Um, for me, yes, uh, because a lot of my nausea was actually linked to um, when I get, got hungry, so I was just, eating everything and everything so I didn't have to get nauseous. Um, mm. But I did have a little bit of a scare, um, I think in my second or nearly third trimester when I kind of was on the verge of gestational diabetes. Oh, so wow. I had to get a lot more disciplined after that and this guy was my kind of boot camp instructor. That's yeah. Yeah. good that you had him there to do it because this yeah. is the thing too, is when you are pregnant, sometimes you get that mindset where you can go, I can eat anything. Absolutely. Because I'm going to be pregnant, but uh, that's yeah. not always, the, that is not the best thing to do. Yeah. So you, uh, Terry, what, what do you think is the thing that women shouldn't do after they've given birth? I mean, what's the, some things that they should avoid? Yeah, and, and it's, it's bringing it back to that relaxing in the joints. So because your joints are a lot more softer, you don't want to rush straight back into resistance training. So if you're trying to lift, um, you know, a lot of weights that you used to lift, um, there's not so much support in those joints as you did before. So it's important to understand not to rush back into physical activity. Mm. Um, always start off nice and light with some um, low, act, um, low intensity exercises. But before you do any of that, always go see your doctor and make sure you get um, checked before and let them approve the activity. It's very sound advice. And can I just put my hand up and say, you might not want to be doing too much jumping <laughs> yeah. after you've yeah. given birth. To yeah. it. <laughs> just quietly. <laughs> Mothers will understand exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some recovery exercises that you're going to work us through, aren't you, Tammy? You're going to show for us how they how to do them, yes. and you can talk us through them. Yep, perfect. Okay. perfect. All right, let's go. So we're going to start off with... We'll watch your mic pack there. Yep, you got it. <laughs> so we're going to start off with um, a core exercise. So during pregnancy, what you'll find is um, as your tummy does grow, um, your abs do part. And what happens is after having a baby, you're a lot more weaker in the core. So the goal after having um, a baby is to reconnect muscle and mind to your core. OK, so I'm going to get my beautiful assistant mm -hmm. to take her hands down to the side. So what we're going to look at doing here is we have that natural curve in the back. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and flatten the back and reconnect all those layers in our abs to our lower back. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze the abs, flatten the back, Okay, we're gonna hold that for five seconds, two, one, and relax. So the goal here is to try and keep your hips down and your shoulders down again. So we're gonna try that one more time by keeping your hips down. So here we go, perfect. Okay, good, and relax. So what you wanna try and do is progress from about five to 10 seconds up to about 20 seconds even up to 30 seconds, and that's just trying to reconnect mind to muscle. And that's interesting because it doesn't look like you're really doing a lot, but it is quite, you know, you can make that actually quite strenuous. Yeah, definitely. And okay, what's the next one? So the next one is we're just going to progress from here. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to reactivate the core, and we're actually going to use our legs. So from here, we're going to tap away. So we're going to lift, go and bring it back, and we're going to alternate to the other side and bring it back. Nice and slow, 
while we're lifting and moving that foot, we have to keep that lower back nice and tight and flat. Good. And that, what that's doing is keeping that tight as now we're adding a little bit more movement in that core. Nice. Good. Excellent. Yay. What else have you got for us? So that is a nice easy um, core exercise to start with. The next thing we're going to do is a back exercise. So the reason for that is when you have a newborn, you're, you're hunched over, holding a baby like that. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to reactivate the back muscles by doing what we call a seated row. Now, I have what we call done a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to wrap this around your feet. Where can you get a hold of those? So I got this from Kmart. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they have different um, resistant types. Okay. So this is a nice light type. They do get heavier with the resistance. Okay. okay. Now, safety with this. It is wrapped around your feet, so you don't want it to flick off and hit yourself. No. Okay, <laughs> cool. So you want to keep it nice and tight. So the goal here is to sit up nice and tall, okay, and we're trying to bring the shoulder blades back, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to reach forward and we're going to pull with the elbows behind. Good, nice and good. And we're going to do that again. Good, and we're nice and slow. And remember, it's all about reactivating the muscles in the back. So when you're pulling, you're feeling those muscles fire and coming forward again. Good. Oh, excellent. So it's, yeah, nice, slow intensity. So should we Good. be trying to get our old body back as soon as possible? Or? My advice would be not to rush into it. And mm. It just comes back to that whole, um, you know, that relaxant. So trying to rush into those things doesn't work. Um, realistically, it took nine months or just over nine months to, you know, produce a beautiful baby. It will take about mm. the same amount of time, maybe even longer, to get that body back. And it's also, we need to understand that it comes down to genetics, uh, body types as well. So yeah, absolutely. And I don't think my body ever went back to how it was beforehand, but I'm pretty happy with it now too. Uh, yeah. Thank you both so much, Tammy. Thank you, Terry. That was really, thank really you. informative. Uh, if you want more great advice for your own fitness, you can head to Jets Fitness. Find the one nearest you by going to their website, jets.co.nz.